Silence has many meanings. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. According to Leonardo da Vinci, is silence just the absence of noise? Or is there a deeper reason for you to invite sound into your life? A British nurse and social activist, Florence Nightingale, wrote that unnecessary noise is the cruelest absence of care that can be inflicted on sick or well. Nightingale argued that needless sounds could cause distress, sleep loss, and alarm for recovering patients. According to the attention restoration theory when you are in an environment with lower levels of sensory input the brain can recover some of its cognitive abilities. Many people believe silence is isolation. However, it's busyness what detaches us from reality. You need to take distance and reflect. As Lao Tzu said, just remain in the center, watching. And then forget that you are there. The Albert Hubbard said that, He who does not understand your silence will probably not understand your words. The scientists discovered that when the mice were exposed to two hours of silence per day they developed new cells in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is a region of the brain associated with memory, emotion, and learning. The growth of new cells in the brain does not necessarily translate to tangible health benefits. However, in this instance, researcher M. Kirsain says that the cells appear to become functioning neurons. We saw that silence is really helping the new generated cells to differentiate into neurons, and integrate into the system. Gordon Hempton said, quiet is a think tank of the soul. We take the world through its ears. As the sound tracker registered trademark I have circled the globe three times over the last 35 years in pursuit of Earth's rarest nature sounds, sounds which can only be fully appreciated in the absence of man-made noise. The Chat Han is a Vietnamese Zen Buddhist master, poet, scholar, and peace activist. Writes every day, we take in a multitude of words, images, and sounds and we need some time to stop ingesting all those things and let our mind rest. A day without the sensory food of email, videos, books, and conversations is a chance to clear our mind and release the fear, anxiety, and suffering that can enter our consciousness and accumulate there. Psychologist Carl Jung noted about escapism that we naturally seek out noise, because it suggests human company we use to need the comfort and safety of the group to survive. Nonetheless, our lives are not under constant attack as they were many centuries ago. Detaching from our environment for a couple of hours won't put your life in danger. Lao Tzu believed that silence is the great revelation. A 2001 study defined a default mode of brain function that showed that even when the brain was resting it was perpetually active internalizing and evaluating information. A study that was published in 2002 in Psychological Science, Volume 13, Number 9, examined the effects that the relocation of Munich's airport had on children's health and cognition. Gary W. Evans, a professor of human ecology at Cornell University notes that children who are exposed to noise develop a stress response that causes them to ignore the noise. What is of interest is that these children not only ignored harmful stimuli they also ignored stimuli that they should be paying attention to such as speech. This study is among the strongest, probably the most definitive proof that noise, even at levels that do not produce any hearing damage, causes stress and is harmful to humans. 2007 paper The Cultural Significance of Silence in Japanese Communication, Taki Sugiyama Lebra identifies four dimensions of silence, truthfulness, social discretion, embarrassment, and defiance. The first three dimensions are helpful to maintain positive relations while the last one has a negative connotation. The World Health Organization in a 2011 report called Noise Pollution a Modern Plague, 
concluding that there is overwhelming evidence that exposure to environmental noise has adverse effects on the health of the population. In 2013, in Frontiers in Human Neuroscience, Joseph Moran L. wrote, The brain's default mode network is observed most closely during the psychological task of reflecting on one's personalities and characteristics, self-reflection, rather than during self-recognition, thinking of the self-concept, or thinking about self-esteem, for example. When the brain rests it is able to integrate internal and external information into a conscious workspace. A study published in the journal Heart discovered that two minutes of silence can prove to be even more relaxing than listening to a relaxing music. N.H.A.T. Han writes, The noise in our heads and all around us drowns out the still, small voice inside. We are so busy doing something that we rarely take a moment to look deeply and check in with our deepest desires.